morning, good day, good evening, mother suckers. Welcome back to another video. I'm in the car with James. He just scooped me up from my house right now. We are on our way to Harbor Island. We're gonna be meeting Tom. <laughs> well, we're gonna be meeting Tom out of Harbor Island, San Diego Bay, and we're gonna be doing some good old bay fishes, targeting spotties, mackerel, halibut, anything and everything, big or small. We're gonna try to catch them all. But I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. In this video, I will be introducing to you guys a brand new bait by Major Crab. So you guys stay tuned for that. I will be dedicating 2% of this video throwing that bait. So you guys stay tuned. Um, yeah, we're on the highway now. We'll probably be there in about 15 minutes. Tom's already out there waiting for us. He told me already over the phone that there's already a couple people out there fishing. It is 4.40 a.m. and there's already people out there fishing. The thing about Harbor Island is that parking is limited and that seems to be the only place everyone has been fishing. So we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned and uh, let's go. We are here, Harbor Island. Tom is right there. James right behind me. Oh, the drive here was uh, nice and calm. I mean, we did run into a psycho. Ooh, a quarter. Um, a quarter. A, you're a quarter away from a million bucks, my friend. Yes. But yeah, the highway was A-OK. -okay. We had we had some crazy people on the highway. But um, yeah, <laughs> Harbor Island. Haba haba. Yeah, bright and early. Literally, my eyes burning from this light. So, with Tom being here, myself showing my appreciation for all the pictures he's been taking. Where here you go, my friend. Check it out. Unbag it. It's not mackerel. No, definitely not mackerel. It got stolen yesterday. Yeah, so we got those. I brought another cooler out. <laughs> my actual lunch cooler. It's the same one. <laughs> here you go, man. Show, show, show the crowd what you got. Oh, oh yeah. 10 grams. A little sexy spin and three replacements for the one I dropped in the rocks. <laughs> I think there's four in there. Four? Three. Three. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just want. I hit the rocks and it slowly slid off the rock before I could get to it. No! Oh, no. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I just wanted to show my appreciation I, to I Tom. Thanks a lot, man, for taking dope ass photos for me, the guys, and everybody else and sharing it with you guys. So, if you guys seen those photos on my Instagram, that's all him. And I'll, I'll link him in the description below if you guys want to give him a follow. He takes some pretty dope ass pictures. Let me tell you guys that. Uh, so yeah, there's really nothing left to say, but we are going to get rigged up. We're going to get to fishing. I'm going to slap you guys on my chest first before I do all that. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully catch some spotties. Because the past couple times we went out, I only caught one or two. But a shit ton of max. We are still going to be harvesting max though. But uh, whatever bites, you know, big or small, we're going to try to catch them all. Everything that swims, we're going to get them. All right. That's the deal, and that's today's goal. So you guys stay tuned, and uh, let's get this morning started. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna get this morning started with some soft plastic action. I do wanna introduce you guys a new bait, but I'm gonna wait until the sun comes out. But until then, I'm gonna be throwing the homemade underspin with the Major Craft Shad. I'm going tight, huh? Oh, I can see the bioluminescence lights. <laughs> yeah. Might have thrown a little heavier head just to get out there. This current's kind of ripping the seven gram around. Dude, not even one bite, dude. Well, earlier, that's it. These uh, Cali covers are pretty neat. All right. All right, guys, the cooler, if you guys want to help out, it's right here, okay? We just don't want blood everywhere in the car. 
and I'm throwing a big old top water. All right. I thought that was a blow up, but it was your bait. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. Dude, he jumped right over my bait. He completely missed that. Stupid. Oh, right there. Dude, they're just jumping right over my bait. There we go, finally. Finally. Yeah, we all got top water max. Good job, my friend. My brother, my brother. So Tom and James is throwing the I'm a skimmer. I'm throwing the dual realis pencil 110. I think they make three sizes. They have the smaller one and an even bigger one. But uh, I can get this bait pretty far out. Not with that cast, but yeah. Ooh. Yeah. They're hitting my bait like crazy, like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Little guy. I'm just leaving my pliers right on top of it. Taking it in and out just for the same thing is kind of pointless. Ooh, <laughs> you saw that? Oh, oh dang, he took off. Yeah, I got it, he took off, dude. He did like a whole figure eight. A little sketchy. <laughs> All right, one more top water. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw the top water and then after that I might convert over to the new bait. Dude, that fish jumped over my bait again. <laughs> All right, dummy, you missed. I don't want you. <laughs> I'm good on the top water. Tom isn't apparently. He's loving the top water bite right now. He is not gonna give up. I mean, he's enjoying it. He's catching mackerel. I mean, a catch is a catch and he's harvesting. So good for him. We got a couple over here. Let me show you guys. You think that's good? I mean, I might go for more later. We'll see. All right, but right now it's trying to introduce you guys the new Major Craft bait. I mean, it's been out, but I haven't been using it at all. I was saving it for a day like this or a free day so i'm gonna get you guys on a tripod real quick i'm gonna show you guys the bait that i'm introducing to you guys major craft paraworm darts bam that's what i'm gonna be throwing right now i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna rig it up with the major craft jig head this is the jig para swim i'm gonna give it a shot and uh we'll see what happens i've never thrown this bait before i did hook somebody up with this bait a while ago and he caught a halibut on it, so let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to rig it up with my spinning gear. Cast it out there and hopefully hook up on a halibut, maybe a spotty, maybe some max. Who knows? And again, I like these para worms because they come in a clamshell and they keep your bait nice and tidy. They're not scented, that's for sure. Smell like plastic? Yep, smells just like plastic. <laughs> the thing about major craft baits that I like is that they design the bait with a hole already inside the bait so you don't have to you know, penetrate it, tear it apart. So let's see if I can get it on 
without tearing it all up. See how it just slides right through. There's already an insert right there. Right, it helps out a lot. rigged up but I think these darts are designed for the actual dart heads well yeah given the name so this is the seven grand Jigpara swim head with the para worm dart this is the UV orange I'm gonna be throwing it on the major craft Soparo rod the Kurodai series I have the Daiwa exist 3000 LT rigged up on this rod it's my lighter setup this is medium light 70 medium light right up to 15 grams 2 to 15 grams so that's plenty that's perfect, actually. James is actually throwing the same bait right now. Are you throwing a UV orange? Uh, the, yeah. All right. Oh, he's throwing the pink. I'm throwing the orange. I did hook Tom up with some darts, so hopefully he changes mine and switch over once he gets bored of the top water. All right, enough of that. Let's go. Holding a spinning rod feels weird. How do you guys use this thing? Okay, there we go. What are you throwing now? Flash minnow? Oh, right yeah, I saw that. Come on, something's got to give. There we go. Feels like a good one, but this rod is light. Oh! It was a hell of it! I saw... Dude, it was a big one. Was it? it? was a big one. Felt like a... Dude, I knew it was a good one, too. Because yeah. he wasn't... He wasn't like a bass where they would like just dump dump. This guy was just like just diving down. Giving up?
Finally! What is it? Yes! Yes! Two hours later! Got your ass, man. Finally. Finally. I got my first body of the day. <laughs> it oh, took, took how long? It took like two, three hours with this bait. I did not give up. The Major Craft Paraworm Dart finally came in clutch. James was killing it. He was killing it. He got white sea bass, halibut, needlefish with it. And finally, got this freaking asshole right here. It took me three hours to get on this. The red tide is playing a big part on what's biting right now. I mean, it's difficult to see the water. Water's really dirty. And uh, the dart prevailed. I think I'm done for the day. Maybe not, we'll see. But let's get the release on this dude. <sighs> man, oh man, blessed me. <laughs> Was that my first spotty all morning, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. It took a while. It took a while. Oh man, I don't, even know. I don't even know how to feel right now. I mean, I did lose a monster. Way heavier than that fish when I was throwing the, um, the orange color, the UV orange. But on here I have, whoa, what's going on? On here I have the 20 gram Jigpara swim head with the custom underspin and the three inch pair worm dart i mean it works there's so much bite marks on here so many short bites but finally got one uh, whew, let's get back to it Them. <laughs> Them. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, we just got the boot. I guess uh, fishing from the shoreline is still prohibited, technically closed. So if anyone is gonna be trying to fish Harbor Island, not happening, anywhere from shore really. So yeah, we're gonna get cleaned up, put everything away. We are ending the day. We got dinner for our moms. Move it out of the sun. Don't want it to be all cooking up in there in the cooler. But um, yeah, the new bait, where is it? The Major Craft Paraworm Dart. I was throwing the three inch in orange gold, UV orange, and the all glow. I lost a really good fish. It, um, it's a big halibut. <laughs> yeah but james killed it he got his first fish on a pair worm was a white sea bass i have never caught a white sea bass that's pretty damn dope so kudos to him and i wish i could i wish that i wish that was me but whatever and he caught a needle fish a couple spotties but we didn't get no mac on him no no but uh then again we are fishing the red tide if you guys don't know what that is google it because i don't have time to explain it i don't even know how to explain it <laughs> To you guys but all i know is that it's bad for fishing the water is dirty the water is red and um it, it has sucks that out the oxygen yeah it sucks apparently it sucks out the oxygen but yeah. don't don't uh take my word for it yeah. but my best advice is just to look it up red tide and a lot of people told me there's no such thing as a red tide in san diego and last year me and james fished to surf during the red tide and it was garbage it was bad it was dirty we caught croaker but it was bad yeah. so the pair worm dart is a success i mean there will be a day for it you guys think there'll be a good day for it huh yeah there'll be a good day for it i mean it's just the red tide and the condition is not the greatest 
But this fish out here finally caught a spotty three freaking hours. Three hours for one spotty mother sucker. But uh, I got him and the excitement was there and I'm happy that I got, got a spotty. But for damn sure, both these guys outfished the shit out of me. Oh yeah. I know, right? The guy that took my cooler, he came back. It was just a trash guy. It was our mistake. We put a cooler by the trash cans and uh, the trash guy mistaken it for trash. So he threw it out. Well, but I mean, it's, fine, it's, fine. Work, you know. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And um, yeah, pair of worm dart. I'm definitely going to try it again. Just once this red tide is gone and we're allowed to fish again, then I'll come out. And also, we did get the boot. Harbor police or harbor patrol, whatever you guys want to call them, cruised by on their boats and just told us all there's no shoreline fishing. It's still prohibited. It's still closed. Yet. He's a yet, right? Yeah, he said yet. So eventually shoreline fishing will be open maybe this weekend coming up and hopefully we get to get back out there and fish. If not, we're going to have to either steal someone's kayak, hijack someone's boat or float tube. I don't know. But if you guys got a boat, let me know. <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna sum it up right there these guys killed it they got max you got you got two spotties on the iron yeah you, you got some spotties other than that i came out here had a good time with the guys and a cuda but it's pretty cool coming out here you never know what you're gonna catch that's why we love san diego bay big or small we don't give a damn if it swims we're gonna try to catch it <sighs> all right guys i'm gonna sum it up right there i want to thank you guys for tuning in if you guys stood this far into the video thank you very much give me a thumbs up subscribe like the video comment below let me know and also, everything I use in this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. It's right down there. Rods, reels, lines, lures, everything. Music, all that stuff. But enough of that, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. As always, good fishing. Peace the hell out.